Our Week 10 Game of the Week featured a big-time rivalry here in the greater Chattanooga area as the Boy Buchanan Buccaneers hosted the South Pittsburgh Pirates. The Buccaneers able to take a 28-12 victory, moving to 9-0 on the season. The number one ranked 2A team trying to fight for that 10-0 next week when they'll host the Silverdale team that was down tonight by Tyner. But let's get back to the action here. What was the big takeaway, Eric? How did Boyd Buchanan get to 9-0? Well, you know, I think, first of all, this was a game you look at the score and not many people thought it would be this close. Um, nobody really gave South Pittsburgh a chance, but you saw tonight what Vic Grider instills in this South Pittsburgh football program that maybe kind of got away, and that's that winning edge. They didn't come out on the winning side, but they fought the entire time, and Grider was very pleased with the way his kids fought. And that's something moving into next week. He's happy where they are at and loves the experience they got from this football game. Definitely. Hearing from the sidelines, you can tell that many, many of the fans feel that they're much improved from that devastating Jasper loss, Marion County, in week three, week four of the regular season after being bounced in week one, a 12 to 7 loss to Sequatchie County. Interesting to see where this Pirates team is heading into that great showdown for that Region 1A title. They've likely got it wrapped up. However, some things can happen from that region. We'll have more on that Monday on our site. But talking more about Boyd Buchanan, 9-0, looking really, really good. Suffocating defense, um, you know, more or less coincides with big plays on offense, mainly from the quarterback position, number 21, the senior quarter, quarterback, Cooper Hodge. What did he do tonight in the football field? Yeah, he, a lot of their options that they like to do with uh, running back E.J. Matthews and the other running backs they have, South Pitt really shut it down. So uh, Cooper took over the reins, though, kind of put the rushing game on his back. Um, probably had over 100 rushing yards total, hadn't totaled it up yet, but made plays with his feet even in the passing game when things weren't there, uh, made smart decisions, and uh, was able to get plays with, with his feet. So I think he really showed his senior leadership tonight and made plays all over the field offensively and defensively. Clearly making his case for all area honors, maybe the most versatile honor at the season's end. But a 9-0 team, you can ask any head coach across our greater Chattanooga area, there are areas of concern. What was an area of concern tonight for the Boy Buchanan Buccaneers? Well, you know, I think I think the running game from the running back position would be one and kind of the passing game struggled a bit at times. But I think that's more to the credit of South Pittsburgh Coop, uh, when talking to Cooper in post game and even Coach Reynolds in post game, they were, gave a lot of credit to South Pittsburgh. It's a rivalry game. They expected South Pittsburgh to come out here and fight, and they did that. It's not that Boyd Buchanan kind of played down to South Pittsburgh. It's not that at all. South Pitt's just a good football team here, and they're in good shape going into the 1A playoffs. But I don't think this is something you look at and say, well, Boyd might struggle in the 2A playoffs. Now, they might need to get some things shored up in the passing game, but other than that, I think they showed what a 9-0 team should show playing all three phases of the game, had a punt return for a touchdown and a defensive interception that set up a touchdown, and that proved to be the difference on the scoreboard. Rand Reynolds definitely happy with his team's performance tonight. Again, on the other side, South Pittsburgh looking much improved, fighting until the end. We'll take on Grace next week. Let's talk about a little bit moving on to next week. What's Boyd Buchanan going to have to do to get that win against Silverdale, and what's South Pittsburgh going to have to do to get that win against Grace Academy? Well, you know, uh, in the post game to his team, Grant Reynolds was saying we got to focus about on us and not Silverdale. If we just focus on us, we'll be okay. And they are really a lot of a lot of times teams aren't like, well, you know, a ten and zero season's great, but. You know, it's not the major thing. It's what we do in the playoffs. Boyd Buchanan wants to be 10-0. They want the perfect season, and they're going to go into next week, focus on themselves, and just kind of fix up some things where they had missed tackles tonight and just small things like that going into next week, and they should take care of business against a big rival in Silverdale. In South Pittsburgh, I think what they did tonight, especially in the second half offensively, got the passing game going a little bit, got in a rhythm going a little bit. Uh, Coach Grider even said in the first half he didn't feel comfortable with what was going on in the offense. They finally got to some things going with the small hitch routes, stop routes, and just kind of nickel and dime and Boyd Buchanan. I think if they continue to do that and run behind Chase Blevins, they'll be okay next week. Most definitely. Both teams well improved, looking like deep playoff run contenders. A good test tonight for each mm -hmm. of the teams as Boyd Buchanan came away victorious 28-12 to in our Week 10 game of the week. For the Week 10 River City Red Zone Report, I'm John Neal. 
Eric Sisson. We'll talk to you next week in our Week 11 game of the week as East Ridge hosts CCS. Both winners tonight, East Ridge over Loudon, CCS over Grace. Again, in our Week 11 game from East Ridge High School to decide that Region 3-3A champion. Thank you.